Alec Glacier, the biggest glacier of the Alps, took the lives of four young and brave men. In the afternoon of the 4th of March, three brothers and a fourth man left the refuge of Landia Hutta to hike to Concordia Platz, but never returned to the refuge in the evening. Despite search operations, no trace of the group was found. What happened that day? Did the mountaineers fall into a crevasse? Were they trapped by an avalanche? Or did they become disoriented in bad weather conditions? The fate of these men will likely remain a mystery. Yesterday, human skeletons were discovered by two mountaineers on Alec Glacier. While hiking in a very little visited area, they found not only human bones, but also dated climbing equipment, binoculars, wooden walking sticks, and even a wallet containing coins from the 1920s. At the moment, it is believed that those are the remains of three brothers who went missing 86 years ago while hiking. From historical witnesses, we know that the men vanished between the refuge and Concordia Platz. However, the skeletons were found more than 10 kilometers downhill, on the tongue of the Alec Glacier. To explain such a discrepancy, one has to understand the glacial behavior. Since the mountaineers vanished high up on the mountain, their bodies were quickly covered by snow and sank right down under the accumulation of ice. Because the ice moves slowly under gravity like a viscous fluid, the bodies were then taken into the flow of ice and transported downstream. By moving downward, the bodies finally entered a region on the glacier dominated by melting, such that they naturally moved back up to the surface. In order to reconstruct the path followed by the bodies from 1926 to 2012, one needs a complex physical model that can reproduce the trajectory of any ice particle in the glacier. On the one hand, the velocity of the ice is computed by solving equations known from fluid mechanics. Here, the arrows represent the direction and the distance the ice moves. On the other hand, one uses climate data to compute the ice accumulation or melting at the surface of the glacier. By computing simultaneously the motion the accumulation and the melting of ice, one can reconstruct the past evolution of the glacier. Most interestingly, one can follow the trajectories taken by any individual ice particle. This can also be done backwards in time. Starting from the place where the skeletons of the mountaineers were found, the trajectories within the ice can be calculated until the last location of the group in 1926. Here one can see a vertical and horizontal view of the reconstructed path followed by the bodies in the ice between the bedrock and the surface. The result shows that, in 1985, the bodies were transported at 200 meters per year and reached a maximal depth of 250 meters beneath the surface before moving back up to the surface a few decades later. On this map, one can see the last location of the group in 1926. The rectangle indicates the most likely area, accounting for model errors, where the mountaineers died. As a matter of fact, this is not on the usual path between Concordia Platz the target of the mountaineers, and the refuge, but one kilometer north. This suggests that the mountaineers most likely got lost on their way back. As an additional clue, historical witnesses reported sudden snowfalls in the afternoon of the 4th of March 1926. In conclusion, we can state with a large certainty that the mountaineers neither fell into a crevasse nor were they caught by an avalanche, but they became disoriented in the poor weather conditions and then froze to death.
Inevitably, the corpses of all unfortunate mountaineers which have been trapped in a moving glacier will be released from the ice in the future. Some of them will be found. It is hoped that this scientific and mathematical approach will help investigators to clean up further glacial mysteries. <laughs>